What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this stereoscopic video effect which gives your image a three dimensional look to it and this effect is going to work a lot better on an image that has really nice depth of field like a portrait image. Okay so here I have my video and I'm just going to freeze frame the part that I want to add this effect to so I'm going to select it in the timeline and hold down shift and press H. So that's going to create this hold frame. I'm just going to drag that out so I have it for a few seconds and I don't need the beginning. So the first step is to add a draw mask effect and cut around the subject. So I'm going to go over here to my effects and find the masks and then just add the draw mask onto here. And then I'm going to carefully draw around uh, my subject and the more accurate is the better. But with this effect you don't have to be too accurate. So if your subject finishes at the bottom of the screen, then it's good to just adjust the mask so that the mask is way above and below the screen. Next step is to add a shake effect or add some side to side motion to the video. And to do this, I'm going to use this horizontal shake effect. So this effect doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I will leave it down below. If you don't have this, then you need to create a similar motion that is created from this effect. Uh, which I'll show on screen. So this adds a side to side uh, motion and I'm going to go over to the effects right here and just turn the speed up to around 9 or 10 and then the shake amount to around 4 or 5. So it gives it this just side to side motion. If you don't have this plugin then what you could do is probably just keyframe the image side to side. Okay so next step I'm going to copy and paste my video clip and just drag that above above like that and then on the bottom clip what I'm going to do is just select it and just turn off the draw mask and on the top clip what I'm going to do is turn the feather to 100 and then turn down the shake amount to around one or two so now you can start to see the effect take shape so now what I'm going to do is copy and paste this video clip once more and on this one what I'm going to do is turn the shake amount down once again to 0 0.8 and then I'm going to turn the feather down on the mask to minus 100 and this is where you need to adjust the shake amount on the top two layers to get the just the right amount of movement so that looks about right I have my top layer uh, shake amount at 0.9 and then that second layer at 1.3. And that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And now I'm gonna add one final effect, uh, which is going to change the frame rate to make it look like it was taken on, on like photo mode. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab and I'm going to use the frame rate effect. And I'm gonna add that to my adjustment layer, which also has my color grade. I'll leave the link to this plugin down below. It doesn't actually come with Final Cut Pro. So if I go up here to the parameters on the frame rate effect, I can change the frame rate by just moving the slider and I'm gonna put it at around like six or seven. And you can see now it slows up the frame rate to six frames per second and gives it that photo look. And that looks really cool with the three dimensional stereoscopic effect. And that is the effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm holding a huge sale on my website if you're looking for any Final Cut Pro plugins, LUTs, transitions, then check out the link below. I'm holding a 24 hour flash sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.